Dreallday.com. What's up, y'all? Dre Ball and Dreallday.com. Now, a bunch of y'all, I know a lot of y'all saw the video I put out when I first got these uh, Nike Nike Plus Hyper Dunks, and a bunch of people been asking me to review them, tell you what I think about them. So this is it. That's what this video is going to be. As far as the shoe overall so far, it feels just like any other shoe I ever worn. I know a lot of people get a lot of, they put a lot of thought into the shoes, like how does it perform, how does it weigh, does it slow you down, does it make you faster, you feel like you play better in it. Me, personally, I started wearing the Hyper Dunks when they first came out, which was the summer of 2008. It's the only basketball shoe I've worn since then, and this is a Hyper Dunk. I love the Hyper Dunk shoes, I like how they feel. I feel fine when I play in them, and that's that. I mean, I don't really have, I don't really go that deep into is it better than this shoe or that shoe, and I haven't worn them anyway, so I couldn't really tell you. Difference between this one and the other type of Hyper Dunks is this one has a little bit thicker of a sole. You can see down here because it needs the space to put the sensors inside of it, and I showed you all that. If you didn't see that video, go look at the original video I put out when I introduced the shoes. I'll show you how the sensors go inside of it. So it got a little bit thicker sole for the sensors. As far as the weight of the shoe, I think it's probably a few ounces heavier just because the sensors are in it and the sole has to be thicker. But overall, I don't feel any difference. I mean, you add two or three ounces to a player's shoe, I don't think that's going to make a significant difference in their game. Some people might think in their mind that it makes a difference. But for me personally, like I said, it didn't make no difference to me. I still jump just as high, I move just as quickly, I run just as fast, I react with the same quickness. So it's a little bit heavier. One thing I don't like is these shoestrings. These are cheap. I don't like these. They're a little bit too thin. I like the ones that came with the original Hyper Dunks. These feel like, as I keep, every day I tighten them and tighten them, I feel like one day they're going to pop. But I keep extra shoestrings with me. So when these pop, I have another set. Uh, what else about them? People ask about the grip on the bottom of the shoe. I have never thought that the weight at the bottom of the shoe is designed matters to the grip. This is my personal opinion. Some people think the way that the bottom pattern is designed that'll tell you how much grip the shoe's gonna have or not gonna have. For me, the grip that you have on your shoes is 100% dependent on the surface you're playing on. If you play on a, a really dirty surface with a lot of dust and dirt on it, you're gonna be slipping and sliding all over the court. If you play on a clean surface, then it's gonna be clean. You're gonna, be, you're gonna hear that squeak. You know, when you watch basketball, you hear all the shoes squeaking. In some gyms, you hear that the whole game, nobody's ever wiping their shoes off because the floor is clean. For example, if you watch a professional game in most of the top leagues, for example, the NBA, all you hear is that squeak because that floor is perfectly clean. And they clean it before every game. And nobody else is walking on it, nothing like that, so it doesn't get dirty. And then you watch, you go to you know, your local gym, the YMCA or LA Fitness, the gym's dusty. You got people in there walking with their outside shoes they're not cleaning it consistently and you got to wipe off your shoes all the time even if you got a brand new pair because the floor is so dusty so i don't think that factors in now as far as the actual measurements of the shoes you got the app the nike basketball app that i got here on my phone one thing i do like about the nike basketball app is the friend the friend uh connection you can do so you can add other people that have nike plus other people that have these shoes or the nike fuel band or do you know the run in on Nike and you can compare your stats. Like who had the if I go to my friends here. For the week and all time, everybody that's your friend they'll rank you. Top vertical, quickness, total playing time, total Nike fuel, total vertical. And you can see, if you can see that right there, I'm ranked first, 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 I'm second in Nike fuel, third in vertical. Now one thing about this vertical jump measurement that the main thing that they sold the shoe on was that it measured your vertical jump. But I feel that the vertical jump measurement in this shoe is not 100% accurate on a consistent basis. I do think it's accurate sometimes, but I don't think it's accurate all the time. For instance, this week, right, one of my friends on here, highest vertical jump was 59.8 inches. Now, I don't know who this guy is. Maybe there's somebody out there who can jump 60 inches in the air, but I don't think this guy jumped. 60 inches his total his top vertical jump this week was 60 inches i'm not buying that and then all time i got another guy with the exact same top vertical 59.8 another guy with a vertical of 59.1 another guy at 
So that means four people that are friends of mine, I only got about 20 friends on here, all jump over 50 inches at least one time. And I find it hard to believe that out of 20 random people, I don't know any of these guys, that four of them can jump over 50 inches. That don't make no sense to me. Another thing, recording a showcase video is kind of difficult because, by yourself at least, because the iPhone doesn't have like a screw in for putting it into a camera stand or a tripod. So what you got to do is prop it up somehow, some way, and you got to hold it this way, sideways, to record the video. And that also is not an accurate measurement. Now, I've seen the commercials where, you know, Paul George did his dunk and it showed how high he was jumping. I'm not saying it's never accurate, but it's not always accurate. For example, the other day I tried to record a showcase video. It kind of didn't work out because the camera kept falling. But I went up and missed the dunk and it said my vertical was like 33 inches. And then I went up and tried the same dunk again. I started a different video and I made the dunk and it said my vertical was zero inches. It didn't record any vertical jump. And I'm clearly jumping and dunking the ball in the video. So the actual measurement of the vertical jump is not 100% accurate. But I know Nike is smart enough. They built it in a way that they can improve the sensor's ability to pick up what's happening. Which is all in the information. The sensor is always going to be there. And the information in the phone will always be there. So all they got to do is improve that technology on the back end. And it can get better. So let me think. Is there anything else about the shoe that I didn't mention? We talked about the friend connection talked about the performance of the shoe like I said it feels fine I don't think anything about it when I'm wearing it, it doesn't feel any different what I will say is that the genius of Nike in making the shoe the way that they did is the measurements of the statistics because that's who they sold this shoe to they sold it to people that work out a lot and it's not only the basketball ones you know they got the off the court ones if you've seen the commercials with uh, like Hope Solo Larry Fitzgerald, so you don't have to be a basketball player to use Nike Plus. They made it for all sports. The genius is in people like me who work out a lot every day, kind of obsessed with working out. We want to see the measurements. What are we doing? We want to measure our activity. And therefore, with a shoe like this, I'm never going to want to play basketball without these shoes on. Because if I play ball with, let's say, another pair of Hyperdunks I got, which are still in pretty good shape, I won't want to wear them because it won't measure my statistics. I won't know how much fuel I burn, how high I jump, how fast I move. So once you start using this, you kind of become mentally attached, emotionally kind of attached to wearing these shoes because you always want to get your statistics measured. So that's the one thing I would say, that was the number one thing Nike did in making the shoes. Not that it measures the vertical, is that you get people attached to it, excuse me, to the point that they never want to not wear these shoes. So that's my review of the Nike Plus Hyper Dunks. If anybody got any questions, I don't think you should have any because I covered everything in this video and in the introduction video. Any comments, questions, all that, y'all know y'all go ahead and leave them in the comments. That's that. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com. You watch me work on my game, now it's time to work on yours. The Hoop Handbook is a series of workout programs straight from my own personal experience working out and training on every aspect of basketball. Ball handling, shooting, scoring moves, scoring over bigger defenders, the crossover, post moves, your weak hand, off the court training, dunking, vertical, all of this covered. All you got to do is follow the program step by step. The Hoop Handbook. want to add a guaranteed 10 inches to your vertical, not a maybe 10 inches, a guaranteed 10 inches to your vertical, go to dreallday.com slash jump, get the jump manual, when you get it, I'm going to give you five free hoop handbooks or any free DVD, all you got to do is email me the receipt, dreallday.com slash jump, get your bounce up. Bit, and as he comes back to your right, you just reach the ball right over his head and finish the shot.